Okay, so, hi guys, after long time no see, welcome back to the, welcome back, I'm Matt from the Assess team, and uh, more on that later. Anyway, so, I was on the internet, and I saw a video from some YouTuber, and they referenced this website, 507movements.com, and I decided to check it out, and I found this one. Number 27, and it caught my eye. I thought to myself that that looked quite interesting, actually. And I thought we could try and actually make it out of Lego. Now, it's going to be difficult because, well, Lego doesn't exactly work in these kind of parameters. But it should work because these should just be normal equilateral triangles. And this should just be somewhere somewhere in the bottom with this at the top in the central axle. I guess let's get started. Okay, so, I have, we have built the two wheels, as you can see on this reference image. This is the smaller one, over here, and this is the considerably larger one. At the back here, you can see that we have the paths right here, as we have on the image there. And if we try it out now, it does rotate it, actually. It works quite well. Now, of course, this, this won't do. So we have thought ahead and we added this little bit at the back. And I think we should build it a frame. So we can turn this and it can turn the entire thing. So yeah, I think we should get to doing that. But just look at that. Anyway, so, let's get to making it. Okay, so we have added a frame to the two plates, well, plates, the two uh, wheels, and now, as you can see here, if I just turn it, you can see how easily it glides. You can see how the, the smaller wheel just moves perfectly within the paths. Now, of course, if I do the opposite, if I turn this, you can see the wheel turning. And of course, it works in both directions. See there that there's hardly any friction between the pieces because it just moves for quite a long time so there's no smashing of the pieces together there's no none of it getting clogged up so I'd say that's a, that's a success I think now the step left is to add some motors to it okay so as you can see here we have added a motor and a really simple just infrared sensor and a battery box. Now I hear you ask why don't we just connect a battery box to it. The reason to that is so I can use this. So here I can control the speed a little bit more. So I guess I, just, I should just shut up and do it. Look at that. It actually functions. It actually works. Isn't that quite amazing? Also take note how easily each of these arms pass into the next path. There's no uh, getting stuck for each of the arms. It's quite it moves quite easily. It moves quite fluidly So I guess now that we have added this motor to it, which I can also use with one of these normal ones in quite a quicker fashion Anyway, so now that we have added a motor to it. I had an idea What if we added a, sh a chassis to it to give it more to, to see how it would function in a more of a real-life sort of situation so I guess uh, let's do that. Okay, so I've we've gone and done that. We have added a chassis to the bottom of this weird transmission system. So here, let me just put that in there. And I'll start it with a more precise one first. There we go. You can see it function right there. Of course, the, the space isn't exactly big here in the little studio table we have going on here but if I edit this correctly right now there should be some footage of it moving where there's a bit more distance that it can cover and yes that is the kitchen floor we had no other bigger space okay don't question it okay so this was our video on this interesting uh, 
transmission system. You can see it functioning there. And I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and or leave a like. Also, I'd like to kind of apologize for the fact that, well, we haven't uploaded for quite a while now. I mean, apart from the fact that we didn't really have anything to make a video of, there's also the fact that we got kind of a bit demotivated by this new YouTube stuff. And it's really old by now, but that was kind of the reason why we didn't upload but it's all over now hopefully hopefully we'll be able to upload more things and actually often now but i guess we'll just have to to see for now here's a here's a video and thank you for watching anyway goodbye guys